Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Ananda, and today we will explore how to set up any point code builder. So any point code builder beta version just published uh, today itself, and we'll see how to set it up. Uh, and I mean this that is a part of the uh, scope of this specific video. So let's start on that. So. Before proceeding to actual setup uh, steps, uh, let us uh, walk through, I mean, let us go through some of the key considerations. So any point code builder is a web-based ID, uh, which is actually created on Visual Studio Code and it includes a specific extension for this purpose. And uh, anyone can design, develop and deploy API or integration or automation from a single environment. And any point code builder doesn't need any software setup or machine specification. And it's part of open beta and available for any organization that signed up for this beta release. So if you are not part of the open beta, you can ask MuleSoft representative to add. Um, in fact, uh, for any trial version, I believe it is automatically available and I am going to show the steps through my trial, trial any point platform account. So I believe if you want to uh, get a flavor of this any point code builder, you can very well uh, do some kind of uh, R&D or some kind of play around on with your trial version. And uh, it's on US cloud control plane. So other cloud control plane like Europe and other cloud control plane, any point code builder is not available. And it's not recommended to use, develop or any API or integration uh, for production environment because still it is in beta version. So with this now, let us see how to set it up. So. So I have entered or I have logged into my uh, trial account, any point platform trial account. So first we have to provide the specific permission. So what we will do, we will first go to access management. So let me go to my access management and then click on my user. And then I have to add permission. So let me check with Yes, so I'm just search with code and I got any point code builder developer and I have to select this permission. So I have to add this permission. And so I have added this permission to my business group. So let me select my business group. Yeah, so I just, okay, now I will go, I'm going to add this to my business group. So now I have all set from access perspective. So this is step number one. Now, if I go to any point platform and code builder beta version, I have to launch the web ID. Before that, I have to accept this, these terms and condition. So let's go all the way down. And yeah, I'm going to accept everything. And now I'm going to accept it. And I will click on get access. So now I will click on launch web ID and it will take some time. It's preparing my any point code builder account. Uh, you may want to try to launch it later. Let me try it once again. I don't know why it is failed. Let's see how it goes now. I think it's going on. So it will take some time and we'll come back once it is done. So now the code builder is starting up. So what I did, I just launch, uh, click on this launch web ID and this code builder is starting up. And first time it takes some time uh, because uh, I mean, because it's first time it start initializing. So uh, this is the this is i mean once i launch the uh, once i click on this launch web id this is the welcome page i can see now let us uh, configure this uh, code id uh, along with my any point platform trial account so so now it extracted a mule runtime it has it, it actually has installed one 
mule uh, run time and it is asking me to uh, reload so i will click on reload okay once reload is done now we will move on to next step okay so now i will configure my uh, mule soft environment so what i will do i will uh, press on my keyboard control shift and p together so that will uh, open the uh, just one moment let me try it once again So now I will uh, type login and I will go to MuleSub login any point platform. So once to sign in using any point platform, so I have to allow this and I will click on open. So the any point code builder from my any point uh, trial account has been opened so my i have given the access or allow permission give the permission any point code builder to access my any point uh, 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 trial account so now it, i mean my any point code builder and my trial account user id has been connected so i can close this and now you can see my user id is getting uh, prompted over here so this is the user ID using which I am logged in from uh, from my AnyPoint uh, trial account. Okay. So now the MuleSub DX uh, extension uh, access this AnyPoint code builder using my AnyPoint uh, platform trial version account. And now what I will go, I will go to view and then I will select the output so that I can see the features. Uh, and now I'm going to click here, uh, just one moment. Okay, so now I'm going to select this uh, Mule DX server and it will start showing me all the uh, information from Mule DX server. So, so basically now it is showing me the uh, all the log messages from the mule extension. Uh, so what is going on through this AnyPoint uh, uh, cloud uh, code builder? Sorry, so this AnyPoint code builder that I can now see. I mean, basically I have that log now ready. So I think that's pretty much is the setup now. If I go to AnyPoint code builder from AnyPoint uh, platform access. You can see here is the, uh, I mean, where, here is the uh, section where from you can manage your uh, any point code builder. So you can uh, see, select this manage your ID. It will show you the version of that uh, specific uh, code builder. And also if you click on the view ID detail, then you can see the image URL and when when this um, uh, id got created so for me this is the date uh, when when with for this trial account when this uh, id got created so uh, <clears throat> sorry my bad One moment. So basically, this image is the uh, image number of uh, through which this ID got created. I mean, basically, this is the image of that ID that got created for me. This is the URL through which I can directly access the ID. So I can copy it, and I can I can just copy it, and then I can paste it over here and click on this and it will straight away take me to this uh, code builder my code builder and i can then uh, just uh, uh, create a bookmark for it 
and done and then later on i can directly access through this uh, specific uh, url using this specific url other than that i can reboot my id and even i can delete it if i delete it then again i have to do the setup step from the scratch so this is all about this uh, setting up any point port builder definitely we will explore any point port builder feature uh, in next couple of videos and i will publish that hope you enjoyed this video if you find it useful please do subscribe share and comment and obviously provide your likes uh, that is the main motivation uh, for coming up with next videos uh, in uh, any point port builder and other mule soft or any other technology to technical topics uh, so we will come back soon with another new video till then thanks everyone for being with me thank you and bye